This is my 2003 Audi A4 on the B6 platform and in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove this door panel because I need to get behind and fix some speaker wires. Let's get to it. Tools required for this job are quite simple. Firstly you need some trim panel removal tools. I'd recommend going for plastic ones. Next you'll need a Phillips screwdriver number two and thirdly you'll need a pair of long nose pliers. First step is to remove this trim panel. Uh, I'll come to the specifics of that in a moment. And then we have a screw that is under here, uh, Phillips head, and then we have a screw down here in the middle of the door, also Phillips. Once those are undone, oh, and we've got four screws hiding behind this trim panel. Um, once we've done that, then it's a case of removing the poppers that sort of sit around the bottom leading edge of the door. They're those classic plastic um, compression fit things that you pop out like a normal. Once that's done, we then unhook the uh, cable from the back of this handle, remove the electrical connectors for the electric window switch, and then the door panel lifts up. So with all that done, let's go then to the trim panel. Really important point to note though, this has, uh, you firstly, you always start at the hinge end, and we'll pop this out in a second. It's got four clips here that come out in, a, in this direction, but there are two further clips at the end which can't come out like that, they're hooked, and so you have to get to an angle and slide them out. So using a plastic trim tool um, to, in order to protect both the trim panel and the, the, the base of the door, you just slide it in here. And then what you do is once you can just get your fingers in, you can then just start pulling. And there we go. I think that's either one or two. That's number two, number three, number four number four and it's once we've done four you cannot now pull that you will break these clips at the end what you have to do is get it and then just wiggle it and then it should pull out let's get this right there we go and so what you've got is only one but you've got a hooked clip here that will break if you try and lever it out so once this trim panel is removed, let's put that in the car for safekeeping. What we've then got is Phillips screws one, two, three, four that we need to remove plus this one under here and one under here. So let's do that next. So with those four screws now removed, we can get through to the remaining two screws, one here and one here. So this one is interesting. Let me get the camera and I'll show you a bit more about this one. So what we've got here is a hole and right in the very top of that hole is the screw. So what you have to do is get your screwdriver and just sort of feel around for it. And it is a, exactly like the ones at the top. And that also means you need a screwdriver with a reasonable length on it in order that you can get to it. Um, there we go, I think I just got it. Can't really see, you've just got to do it by feel. There we go. And then once you've got it, you can start undoing. It's different on the driver's side. Uh, there's two screws in this position and they're much more easily accessible. And then our final screw is right here at the bottom of the door, just under here. It is exposed. It's not hidden like that one up there. Again, just... Oh, it's tight. From memory, this one goes a very long way back into the door card, which is why it's quite stiff. And there we go. It's a long screw, different colour to the rest of them as well. So just remember to put that one back at the bottom. Now with our screws removed, all that's left to do is to pop the door panel off and, we're, and then once it's off, we can access the handle and the electrical connectors. So here I'm using one of these trim tools. I'm gonna to use that to lever off the clips at the bottom and along the, the side edge. It's also just a case of getting your fingers in sometimes once you've got a gap and then just gently getting them, there we go. And just following them up the door. Here we 
go. With all of the clips out, what should then happen is the door panel lifts up this way. There you go. And now with the door panel off, what I've got to do is using my long nose pliers, just unhook at the back here. So it's this hook here that we need to unhook, which is for the handle for the door. So with this part of the handle disconnected now, what I need to do is go through to the electrical connections. I've got electric window switch connection here. I've got a speaker switch or speaker connection here, but actually it's much easier if I disconnect it from the car at this over here. Um, so I've got the two connectors, one here that I can disconnect. This job a lot easier if you've got somebody to hold the door for you, by the way. All right, that's one disconnected. This wire here is the master connection into this unit. There's a pink or purple clip. Just pull that sort of towards the hinge that releases the connector block. And then that then drops out like that. And then our door panel is now free and you can access the back of the door to do whatever it is you need to do. So just having a further look, we've released one of the cables from up here that goes to the door and the other cable had come in here into this box unit here. And that's left the entire door panel, in my case, free. So I can access these cables in here that I know now need repair. So now with the door panel off, we can have a look at the back and have a look at those clips. Um, what you can see here is these white rings of a clip. That, that one is, has survived intact, that one and that one. That's where that long screw goes in, um, into the bottom, comes through there into the door. What has happened here is this uh, clip has broken here and a clip has broken over here. Now I've bought some spares. I did this job on the other side a few months ago and I had some spares. These clips are actually really cheap. I get the impression they always break. Um, and there are plenty of aftermarket and original equipment available out there on eBay and so on. I'll put a link in the description for the place where I bought mine, but cheap and, and what I would suggest is you buy some spares before attempting this job. Um, there are a couple of other smaller clips around. That one appears to have come from over in this corner and that goes up in there. And there should be one um, from here, which is pinged out over the garage floor somewhere. So installation of the door is exactly the reversal of how we did it before. Firstly, it goes in that big connector that with the purple clip and then the one for the speaker. And here I'm hooking in the handle for the door. And then once those three things are done, just a case of slotting on the door card over the main door. Now there's a little bit of finessing that's required here because of the clips at the top, over here on the left hand side, just at the top there, and then over on the right hand side, those two clips right at the top just need a lining. Once they're in, then everything else should line up. And you can just go through and clip in all of your compression fit clips, just I'm doing there. Next step then is to do those screws underneath the handle and at the bottom of the door. The bottom of the door screw, remember, that's that long screw that goes all the way through to the back of the door card. Next up is this screw under the handle. Again, like removing it, you have to put the screwdriver in and feel around for the hole. It's a little bit tricky. Seem to get it in second or third time when I did this, but once it's in, it grips in and you're done. And then next up are the four screws that go behind the silver trim piece and they go in nice and easy, just as they did when they came out. No problems at all. So one final step before fully committing myself is I just want to make sure my door handle is working correctly. So I shut myself in the car and I, that confirms everything's working. And then in goes this trim piece, remembering that hook at the end, slide that in. And then when everything is lined up, push those clips home. And there we go. So there we go, guys. That's how to remove your door panel from your ADA4 on the B6 platform here in a very hot and sticky UK. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, send me a thumbs up, send me a comment, and I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.